Today I want to talk about the God's Design series from Master Books. So this is the science series for grades 3 through 8 from Master Books. For the God's Design series, you'll be studying the world of plants, the human body, and the world of animals. For heaven and earth, it's our weather and water, our universe, and then our planet Earth. Chemistry and ecology includes properties of matter, properties of ecosystem, and properties of atoms and molecules. And then the physical world includes machines and motions, heat and energy, and inventions and technology. If you do like curriculum videos, then please make sure you are subscribed because I love curriculum and enjoy discussing curriculum with you. All of these are set up the same way where you will have a list of words. So the words to know this is for everyone. The challenge words are considered for the sixth to eighth graders. Then you have a little bit to read. You can see that the words are in um, bold print. Then you have, what did we learn and taking it further? This blue box is what would be something for everyone to do. So it's either an activity, more to read, something to study, etc. And then what's in the green box is considered for sixth through eighth graders to complete. So this is, here you can see this has your challenge words in it. There is more information. There are some more difficult experiments or research. Then sometimes you have these special features. So these are included. It's about important scientists or what's going on in the world at the time. Just some additional information. Uh, we love these fun facts, which are included throughout the different books that sometimes there are two different activities to have for in the blue box and then there the green box has additional information again so as you work through these books you can see that they are in full color we then have the glossary at the end of each unit and then we'll start on the human body and again set up the same way as the, the world of plants also, just to quickly look at Heaven and Earth so that you can view it a little bit, you can see that we have the same format. So, words to know, challenge words. Here's our blue box, and then here is our green box for this one. This, um, where it says complete the storm word scramble worksheet, that can be found in the teacher's guide that they offer that includes your daily schedule, um, what to read, when to give tests, etc. Next, um, again, chemistry and ecology. This one is set up the same way. So for your properties of ecosystems, you have um, the words to know, challenge words, your blue box, and your green box. So all of these, once you get used to the format for any of the Scott's Design series books, the format is consistent throughout all of the units that they have within these books. Something else to note is at the beginning of the book, you will be able to see your units with your different lessons. The special feature is what I was mentioning about a scientist or additional information. So wherever you see special features, that is normally about one to two pages of reading. And then in each unit, you'll have approximately five to seven lessons. They also have this instruction sheet at the beginning. So you can see here, we're talking about third to fifth grade. Here's your sixth to eighth grade and we get into machines and motions. So to note, as, as you can tell from the title of the God's Design series, this is from a biblical world view. And most of the experiments, at least the ones that are in these blue boxes, are with very easy to obtain materials. Like this requires paper, pencil, tape. You can see this one is a toy car a long piece of wood, cardboard, stopwatch, marker, tape, and meter stick. So at least for these, you can see that it is um, something that's easy to obtain. And they are still very informative and impressive with the amount of knowledge that you receive from doing these experiments. So the experiments were something that we liked. 
with this series. Again, my kinesthetic daughter was very much into um, the experiments throughout the series. Now my daughter used these from fourth grade through sixth grade. We did most of God's Design Life. We did almost all of Weather and Water, almost all of the Chemistry and Ecology, and then some of the Physical World. So I just wanted to talk about what we thought about them, uh, would I do it again, changes I would make, all of that fun information. So first of all, we did start in fourth grade with the God's Design for Life. It would have been 100% appropriate for her to use it in the third grade, but we started it in the fourth grade. I really wish that we probably would have started it in the third grade, but that's okay. Um, we really like this. She loves the way these are set up. When we look at these, I think that this is probably the best one for the younger children. This is something that third, fourth graders can grasp pretty easily the way it's set up. Also, in fifth grade, we did the heaven and earth so this is weather geology uh, space so you have our weather and water our universe and then our planet earth again we really liked this one it was appropriate for her fifth grade year i will link a couple of videos down below because i have done a review for this life and then we did a review i believe it was on the um, our universe portion of this and I will link those down below. The way we walked through it, we actually finished this book a little bit early in fifth grade, and so we switched over and we did some of the physical world. We started with um, machines and motion. I really wish that I would have started with inventions and technology because you can use these interchangeably. You do not have to go just the way the book is set up. If it's a season where you can grow something, you probably would want to do the world of plants. So I would recommend this one being either in spring or fall rather than during the winter. When we switched to this in the fifth grade after we had finished the heaven and earth, I think that I shouldn't have done that. I think that we should have waited for this one until later. I, um, if I had to do it over again, I would switch and go directly into chemistry and ecology and then after chemistry and ecology do physical world. Physical world just seems to have a little bit more uh, technical concepts, a little bit more of the math included with the science and that higher level thinking. I saw that more in the physical world. So we did chemistry and ecology for sixth grade. This did not work for us for sixth grade because of that switch, because where you go from the third to fifth grade in everything, and then the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade into these green boxes, I didn't always have or could get easily the materials that was included in those green boxes, and they sometimes were just too high of a level for my sixth grader, and so we ended up going back and doing mostly the third through fifth grade work with some of the sixth grade and supplements included in with this for her sixth grade year. And then we eventually finished off with just picking and choosing the lessons that we wanted in physical world based on my daughter's interest. Now, what did we think about this? Um, in the end, I loved it for elementary. This was a great science elementary series. I absolutely would utilize it again for elementary. I would start with third grade, and so I would do the um, life for third grade then the um, heaven and earth for fourth grade. I would do chemistry and ecology for fifth grade. And then I might try physical world for sixth grade. But if my child was very interested in physics and in what is included in physical world, then it, I would probably mix these two up for the fifth and sixth grade year. Um, we may not quite do so much chemistry and a little bit more physics, but my daughter is much more interested in chemistry. So we went through this book with all of the details and it was a lot of fun because she does like chemistry. Other things that we loved about this was how much information was included in these short 
lessons. It did not take a lot of time to read the lessons and there was quite a bit of information included in it. The questions were very thought provoking and enabled us to go down some rabbit trails and I was very thankful for that. Now there are tests and quizzes as well as worksheets that go along with this. We did not utilize most of the worksheets. Um, they are very similar to what the questions are in the back of the book. I did utilize the tests and quizzes and we did some of the worksheets but just not all of them. Now what we didn't really like about this series we didn't find out until my daughter reached sixth grade. When she reached sixth grade and we switched to doing these um, green boxes as well as everything else that just really didn't work for us. What was in the green boxes was either a little bit too old for her or it just didn't provide enough information. And the authors had a great expectation for you to be able to do quite a bit more on your own versus what is actually included in the book. In recap, elementary we loved the god's design series but for middle school it just wasn't something that worked well for us